Hello everybody and welcome. We are back with some more Dungeons and Dragons Online Part 3 for the Druid class. Picking up right where we left off last time. Uh, we have two new quests or people to go meet out in the city. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Get started. Uh, if you guys noticed, I did change the UI back to the original uh, resolution I was at. And I took it out of full screen mode. So the text and everything is going to be a little bit smaller, but it seems to run a little bit better uh, using this form instead. So just wanted to make that aware. Uh, the fisherman sitting before you went winces as his badges as he bandages his leg. What happened to you? It was the Devourer Cult. They came and destroyed our Kenneth Crystals. Uh, we tried to stop them. Vogel here was hit pretty bad. I think he just broke. I think I just broke my ankle, but we got away with one crystal, just one. We put it in the basement of Corth's Hall. They'll come back for it tonight. We're in no shape to stop them. I think it's time this cult was given a taste of its own medicine. I'll protect the crystal for you. Okay. So looks like yep, we're going right here. Corthos Hall. All right, and happen. I was clicking on it. Hello. Uh. They try summon summoning my pet. There we go. What is this dungeon complete grouping options? Private group. Is that public group? If you are in a party, a new instance will be created for your group. What happens if we do change it to public group? Ahead is the cellar where the Kanith crystal is hidden. Ah, oh, players can automatically join your group on your adventure. Type of players, left click the alert icon when minimized. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So we can leave it open for other people to join. All right, let me go ahead and summon my gray wolf. Now I did watch another video uh before today or today's video to kind of give me a little bit more better information on the game and i think i'm a little bit better off uh, i think there's a few feats i probably should have swapped out when i originally started basically but either way i guess we'll find out i'm still kind of confused and if anybody can explain um why we have a wolf that says pet but then we also have a gray wolf. I don't know what the difference between the two are. I mean, obviously one is summon nature's ally and the other one is called wolf companion. But I'm still kind of confused why. I mean, I'm not complaining we have two, but I'm still kind of confused on why we have two. the life-saving heat emanating from the magic crystal Baldar spoke of. But from the shadows approach those who would doom Korthos by destroying it. We must defeat all. Okay, so that's how you can make charge party changes. Party. Cool. Now, I thought there was an area that would tell you when you're casting abilities your percentage or like what you roll and die but maybe it doesn't uh oh oh crap they're attacking it oh there it is Now I see it. Devour minion hit. Something in your inventory has been damaged. Oh no, the pet. My pet.
I could just summon another, right? Yeah. Is that my entangle ability? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Oh no, I'm out of spell power. Yep. Okay, we are starting to regen a little bit though. Defeat all the cultists, one left. I love how the, <laughs> the wolf keeps jumping up there. Up higher. Okay, there's one enemy left. Question is where? Oh, there he is. Thus protecting the Kanith crystal and saving Korthos. Fantastic. Item worn. Your equipment can be damaged by some combat effects or monsters. Hold your mouse over any item in your inventory to examine its attributes and durability. Alright, let's recall back. Even though the exit is literally right there. Uh, so this gives me... If I remember correctly, 1d6. So the dice is a roll of 6. And then you get plus one stash, right? Is that how that works? I kind of forget, but so I can instantly do like seven minimum. I mean, maximum this is a crystal safe. Yes. The cultists came as you said they would. And when they tried to destroy the crystal, I felt them. This village will remain warm. Well, warmish. We got Axe Bane, Bracer of Assistance, or Spear Bane. Finds the character. Uh, it's a reduction. This has a one on it. Is there any reason for that? Whips to uh, wrist. Aid. This also has a weight. Uh, enchantment plus adds eight plus one per caster level. Temporary hit bonus on attack rolls. The, I wonder if that's any better than the rest. Passive reduced uh, physical damage taken by four, except for bludgeoning or piercing weapons. I'm gonna try taking that. I don't know if that's what I should have taken, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, now there's something over here that we can do. I think it was this. Yeah, the silver roll. We get like one a day, I think. 91, so we got boost. Okay. Not have enough shards. So where does that go? Uh, Long-lasting potion of physical resistance and 750 experience points. Stores the memories and life of uh, life experience of veteran adventurers. Claiming it will grant you 750 experience points. This token may be passed to another character on your account through shared bank. Okay. Secondary item equipped. What is this? City regeneration while in civilized area. You slowly recuperate. Action points. So you have one action point to spend. I also learned that there's a menu down here in the corner. And I think action points are enhancements? Or no. No, they're not. Last enhancements, race enhancement. Zero, 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 zero. Well, then where's that one action point? It's another C. Pets. Name pet wolf. Uh, you can spend this within a public area by opening the enhancements window from the main menu. Wait, so it is the enhancements. 
but it says I have one zero. Oh, that's saying zero spent. I see. I see. Well, then how do I know which one is available? Or is it? We don't know. Uh, nature's warrior druid seasons herald or nature's protector. Uh, activate the plus five when casting firelight, sonic force, positive spells. Um, is one of these like a companion one? Like, what about this? Nature's sense. Again, eight plus hit points plus that for your wolf and bear forms in this and every other core. So that's if we changed into it. Nature's warrior. Um, oh, wow. Harper agent. We can't do that because that's not. Summer child. I think this one might be like healing. So let's go seasons herald then. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a wolf companion one. Okay, let's go there. And that's one AP spent. So. You gain the ability Child of Summer activate to grant plus five spell power when casting fire, light, sonic force, and positive spells. The seasonal spell power is multiplied by one for every core enhancement possessed in seasoning, Seasons Herald. Okay, cool. Accept it. Right? That says I have one action point available. Huh? I still have more? Is there like an area that tells me how many I have? Oh, action points remaining, zero, two spent. Okay. Then I'm gonna get this one. Your wolf companion gains 3% of its max health. You gain one universal spell power. Sure. Okay. We are all set on both of those. Help Linus Weir with his problem. All right, want Linus, what you got here? You're a dangerous druid if I ever seen one, but I reckon uh, you got a heart too, up for helping some Korthro poor Korthros folks. Depends. And called it actually, yes, I have been called a champion in my time. Naturally, I must lend my strength to the unfortunate. See the house over yonder north? That's our storehouse. And in the back room, old Lars Hayton put his scrolls. Uh, the village store is just next to the time. What do you say? All right, I'll bring the scrolls back to you. We'll just skip through some of the uh, dialogue otherwise. I mean, some of it will be here all day. And we're still in the very beginning area. I think for the most part, I'm going to leave it in, like, the public group. So why not? Dust and mold fill this ill-maintained storehouse. You can hear the telltale skittering of vermin nearby. <laughs> Gonna pick up the copper. Some my wolf. Keep an eye on your red hit points bar. Make sure to heal yourself. You're close to death. Really? What? When I'm close to death, I think. So I'm opening up X right now. Uh flawless victory. To get more XP, apparently when you use this, it actually tells you how much extra XP you'll get. And if there's optional objectives, you can complete those while doing that too. There we go. We got some more cash.
just smashing everything we got in here. Silver key falls out of the ground. Ah. Silver key. A Sahagan emerges from a hidden passage, demanding the key. You mustn't let the scrolls fall into Devara hands. Oh no, cast failed. Okay, so now I know this is more of like an AoE area effect entangle. I don't need to like constantly spam it. And then the fire one is just a directional breakable. Oh, positional breakable. Uh, spell resistance, components, transmutation. Okay. And then it makes a strength check. Question is, do I go through this way or the other way? Find the hidden scroll, unlock the scroll room with the silver key. God. Reanimated rat. Kill the rat! Now that I'm starting to slightly get a little bit of a hang of this game, I am, uh, Feeling a little bit better about it. I know there's still a lot to learn. Definitely a lot to learn. But at least we're making progress. Nice. The door swings open. Revealing a magical sphere around the scroll. It appears that the floor in this room can be moved and rotated. Ah. Definitely breaking these seems to be giving us a lot of uh, copper and other items. Open that. Okay. Barrel. Got it. Another one. All right, so what is the plan here? Let me guess, this one? Does it have to get to each corner, I wonder? Like this, maybe? Uh. Hmm. Well, how's that going to get there, though? Like that? So, that goes to there, which goes to there. And then... There we go. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So that starts it there. This will have to go like that. That works. Okay, good, good. We got progress. This one has to go there. Nice, nice. Uh, then I think this has to go the there. Spell dissipates. Boom. All that remains now is to take and deliver the scroll. All right, let's grab it. Gonna set off a booby trap. Nope. Okay, sweet. We clear out a little bit of this other area. Nice, six minutes and one second. Not bad. It's some good progress there. All right, let's uh, finish quest and recall out of this area. Perfect. Orthos Village. And we are back. Wait. Uh, what just happened? 
Can I hand it back into him? It says a, a gilded scroll drops to the ground as you depart. I got the scroll. Let's see what it says. Hmm, what's that? Uh, there's no picture. Never mind. I got to get someone who knows the read. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I guess we're all right. Plus five maximum health. Plus one resistance to fortitude. And reflex saves. I'll go ahead and get the maximum Hero. health. It is on the people's lips as you walk by. Cautious looks have become friendly nods. Then word comes that your presence is requested in the tavern. Uh, we'll hold on to that. Starter rags. We don't really need that anymore. Some of these items we're, we'll never really use. Okay. Do we level up or no? We're... Okay. So we're still level one. But from my understanding, once all of these, all five of these are filled up, the circles, then that's when we level up. Sig uh, Sigmund Barson. It's the next person. Uh, where is he? Sigmund... Sigmund, where are you at? Oh, he's at the tavern. Okay. Whoa, that person is a big, uh, big guy. All right, what's up, Sigmund? All right, let's try to knock this out real quick. Wavecrest Tavern. Wait for the collaborator to arrive. Your waiting bears fruit. This must be the collaborator stepping in from the dark. Jacobi Drexhand. Confront them. You again! Blame me for your heroics. I'm sick of your tampering. And I'm sick of your traitor. Uh, why are you working for the sag? Actually, yeah. I'm no fool. The uh, sag one will kill everyone who doesn't convert. It's inevitable. I'm just watching out for my hide. So it says the biggest fool in Crothros. Your life ends now. We'll be busy with the... Oh, no. He brought them in. Or no, he didn't bring them in, but he brought some. Cast failed. And I missed. Of course. Stalwart defense gives the Sahagen pause. Sahagen. But you hear more of them gathering outside <laughs> for a final assault. Okay. Do not leave you until the collaborator is dealt with. Behind the bar. Oh, really? Small chest hidden behind the bar. Searching. What is this? Oh, there it is. Are they fighting each other? You 
have weathered the Southwagen storm. Now, after that traitorous Jacobi Drexel hand, he must have fled into the cellar. Many people in Corthos. Drexel okay. hand isn't here. However, the chamber beyond the secret no. passage looks ancient, predating <laughs> Corthos village. I was just walking over to that just to see if uh, if it was something I could open. I wasn't expecting it to do that. Nice, a chest. Okay. Loot all. There's a secret passage down here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Another one down. Is my other wolf pet down here? No. Okay, now he is. grab uh yeah let's definitely do the rest shrine bluff allows you to bluff certain so i really wonder um when you'll use the bluff diplomacy or the, the other ones it seems like there's a lot of moments where like maybe you could but uh i don't know i don't know if you're supposed to click on somebody and then use it or if it, you just let it do its thing and maybe it, in combat or in a conversation at some point it'll be like hey you can use bluff right now or you can use diplomacy to change the outcome that weasley drexel hand has nowhere left to run finish the job oh god Not today, Drexel Hand. Not today. Save his life. Optional objective complete also. Nice. There's a chest right here. It's funny, the chest usually opens before the, the timer's ever actually done. Okay, we got new action points too. Let me open this up. Maybe we can't. Oh, I think we have to be out of the area. All right. Well, we finish this and we'll go hand it in too, anyways. Recalling back. There we go. Need an additional bank space. Help Sigmund with his plan. Drexel Hand is dead. And may he spent the eternity in Kyber's bowels. This is wonderful news, my friend. We have reached the tipping point. At least now we can take the fight to Sagwin. Thank you. Oh, okay. Discarded ring. Uh looks like the only other one that I that could be good would be the scimitar. Which actually might be my best bet. 15% critical roll, yeah. Your victories have made the village much safer, but only temporarily. It's time to take the fight to the Sahuagin, out Sahuagin. in the wilds of Corthos Island. <laughs> and then, can you equip these, like, for secondary, or is that, like, secondary hand? I need to sell some of this stuff, but I can do that. Uh, okay, let me open up enhancements real quick. Let's see what we got here. What is this? 
Uh, produce flame. Okay, so it's an actual spell. Druid level. Whenever you successfully attack an enemy or cast a spell, there's 50% chance to beguile that enemy for three seconds. Uh, so this is all like flame, cold, lightning, salt ray. What's this one? Plus two additional critical chance with the spell associated with your current season. This is what seasons herald. Okay. Okay. Diplomacy, heal, and spellcraft. Nice. All right. I'm going to get this one because I, I like uh, using it on my pets. Oh, we had two available? Yeah, I guess so. All right. We'll just fill that out. And that's done. Okay. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode here. So if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like on it. Subscribe for more. Let me know if you got any uh, tips or anything, as always, because as always, I am still very new to this game. So anything really is appreciated. For now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.